Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a safe test plus project of the topic, balloon shooting game. Let's see the requirements of this project. First, we require an IDE for running and compiling this source code. Second, we require a text editor. You may use any text editor as per your choice, but I have used your VS code. Thirdly, we require an operating system. Again, it depends on you which operating system you want to work on. I have used Windows 10 here. Uh, there are no certain external libraries used here. And the header files are iostream, windows.h and standard library.h. So we'll be seeing what these to do actually. What does this uh, header files do while we'll be writing the code, we'll be understanding the code, we'll be implementing the code. So now let's move to the code part. Here we come. So see first all the header files has been included here then we have this standard line that is using namespace std then all these coordinates has been defined properly as you can see starting from a to z all these alphabets has been defined into certain resolutions the 0x 4a 4b the resolutions are the hexadecimal coordinates we'll see what does this do in future now we have a game info structure where we have certain attribute compiled together like the coordinate of player 1 position, coordinate of player 2 position, coordinate of player 1 bullet, coordinate of player 2 bullet, coordinate of player 1 bullet 2 and coordinate of player 2 bullet. Then we have a coordinate 0, 0, 0 that is the initial coordinates. Then we have handle, h input and h out. Then there is a game info which is used to store the game information. Then we have certain functions declared like void movement where we are going to take the parameter of the address of game information for the draw function we have the parameters game info these are basically the structures for areas we have game info again as a parameter for launch bullet we have game info's address and our these are variable and for game uh, launch bullet 2 again we have the game info's address and an integer variable then there is a function called int wait. Then in the main function, we have certain functionalities like the h input and the h output, where we are going to handle the standard input and handle the standard output. Then there is a set console mode where there are two parameters that is handle output and enable process input. What we are going to do is we are going to initialize all the player positions, uh, like. Uh, First, we have to initialize it from where it should be start. Or we can also provide random variables, but random values. But it's better if we have a thing in mind that we need to start from here. So as you can see, we have the player one position to be nineteen. Y the x coordinate and y coordinate are nineteen and twelve. For the position two, we have sixty one and twelve. The bullet positions are mentioned. The bullet two positions are mentioned, and the zero zero coordinate. I told you this is the initial coordinate, this is also mentioned. Then we have this uh, loop which we are basically working on the cursor because this is not an actual game. We have just provided the layout of the game. Hence, we have this cursor position fixed in certain, like we are through the cursor position only, we are going to play this game, the balloon shooting game. Let's see what we have. Then the movement function, in the movement function, we have this attribute again, the game information address, then input record and the dword events. We are going to read the input, after which we are going to decrease the player position, the y position and the x position by 1. We are going to run a loop. We are going to check if it is less than 0 or not. Accordingly, we are going to change it and check it. Then if the input record will be equal to a certain like we have a q s and o we have l k also so basically these are the alphabets which we are going to use while we are going to play the game okay i just remember k l o s a and q then this is a draw function in the draw function what we are going to do is there will be a cursor and the bullets will be marked as dots so accordingly the dots will move then the cursor position will again change. Like I said, na, there will be a loop uh, for the cursor position, so it will be changing accordingly. 
then we have a game information parameter in which we are going to check all the game players one bullet two bullet and such such so and so then in the la launch bullet function here we have certain parameters called the game info and the player number so where again the, the game la information needs to be updated and the player position and the player position the number will also get incremented or decremented according to the case then the draw and erase draw is drawing a new player a new card set and erase will be the, like just changing the cards changing the players then we have to check the player numbers if the player number is one if he is going to shoot a balloon it is going to hit the mark then the point of player one will be increased or else if player two has done the same thing then the point of player two will be increased so these are the certain cases where you are going to erase the points again rebuild the point you are going to score points you are going to decrement the points these are basic cases if the points of player one is more then player one will win which is uh, like uh, done in every game and if the point of player two is more than player two wins then this is a wait function in the wait function what we are going to do is this is a sort of delay function in the timeout function so while you are playing a game it's very important to give certain pauses so that the aesthetic view or so that what you can say is the gaming experience is pretty good if you are playing a game then you need certain pauses you need certain instructions so the gaming experience becomes quite legible and quite good. That's why we have this wait function. Then this is a bullet to function. So if player X hits, then the, the player the points is increased by one. And if player two's bullet hits player uh, like player two's X bullet coordinate bullet matches with the player one's X coordinate, then the point of player one will be decreased because it's been respawned. Basically, these are all the cases. Then we have uh, the winning criteria. Like if the player 2's balloons are popped, then player 1 wins. And if player 1's bullets are, uh, the balloons are popped, then player 1 wins. This is basically all the cases. Like the coordinates 0, 0 for player 1, 0, 1 for player 2. So, these are basically the cases where in which you can move the cursor. So, now what we are going to do is we are going to run it and we are going to see whether what we have done is right or wrong let's see so i'm just moving it like this see the balloon is moving it's moving up so player one wins because it the line it goes and it hits player two so i hope you understood the working of this game for more interesting project ideas stay tuned to our channel Thank you.